Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. As you all know that we are working with library management system and in the previous video I have already shown you how to backend code for this return book and I have already shown you how to design this form. Okay, so if you have not watched my previous video then just go to description. I have put the link of the previous video or you can just click on this suggestion on the right side of your screen. So in this video I am going to show you how to design this complete book details. Here you can see this. All the books which has been issued is visible and all the books which has been returned is also visible. So I'm going to show you how to design this and how to backend code for this. So let's start with that. So as you know that we are working with library video project. So in this posting what you have to do is you have to add a new form. So for that just go to solution explorer and right click on your project name and after that click on add and select windows form. In this you have to write the name of the form that is nothing but let me check it out complete book details so write it over here and hit enter so here you can see this a new form is added now so I want the size of this form of same as the previous one okay so let me just copy the form size so complete book details and let me just copy the size of this just go to properties and after that search for size here you can see this let me just copy this and paste it over here so just right click and go to properties and in properties you have to find size here you can see this size is 1076,551 and hit enter okay so nice nice looking nice and I want the color code of this one as same as this. So let me copy this color code of this form as well. So back color, search for back color, and you have to write 255192 and 128. Okay. So let me set that back color. Here you can see this. So just paste it. Okay, here you can see this. When I have set this background color, the color is already changed. Now what I need to do is I need two label and two data grid view. So first label is nothing but issue book. So let me just change the text of this one. Okay. So issue book. Hit enter. Let me change the font size of this one. So just search for font and click on the small dots. And after that you have to just increase this one to bold and 14 okay and let me change the color so for color and select this one and in the system you will find highlights okay so you can see this okay after that I'm going to add one data grid view search for data grid view and just drag and drop this one and make the size of this data grid view same as in the complete project so let me copy the size of this data grid view so here you can see this size is 1036 comma 208 so I am going to set the size of this data grid view as same as that one so search for size and let me just paste it over here and hit enter so now it's looking nice here you can see this in the same way we have to do for the return book so I am going to copy these two stuff and paste it once again and here you can see this and let me just change the name of this one okay so this is actually return book okay return book okay so now our task is done till here for the designing part what now what I want is I want to first link this with the database okay and fill the data from into this data grid view before that I want to link this form with dashboard so let me just go to the dashboard okay so it's loading now it's loaded so what I want is when I click on this complete book details I want to open this form for that just we need to generate a click event for generating a click event just double click on this and this will generate a click event after that you have to make your object of that so let me just create a complete book details CBD equals new complete book details after that you have to use one method that is cbd.show on the object of that and after that I, what I want is when 
this open it needs to be open in the center for that you have to change the start position of this form so just go to properties and change the start position to center okay and save this so now let me start this okay so it's taking time okay so here you can see this when i click on this now our form is visible but still the data is not present in the data grid view so now i'm going to fill the data okay so we have to generate a form load event for that just double click on form and this will generate a form load event here you can see this after this what we have to do is we have to create a sql connection and here you can see this is a small pop-up here because we haven't used the imported the library so just click on that and when you click on this here you can see this library is imported after that you have to create the object so form new sql connection and after this we have to make a connection string so for that you have to write the data source equals and you have to copy the data source name from your just go to your mysql okay and here you will find one small stuff just go to file and click on this connect to server and you will find this just copy the server name and just go back to your project and after that paste it over here and you have to add one more slash okay after this what you have to mention is database name so database name database equals my database name is nothing but library after that you have to write integrated security equals true make sure t is capital okay so don't make any spelling mistake just be sure about that after this what we have to do is we have to create an object of sql command so sql command cmd equals new sql command in this command we have to pass the connection object so c o n and after this what we have to do is we have to execute the command text into the sql so for that select start from my table name is ir book where book underscore return underscore date is null okay so what i am doing here is i am selecting only those record which return date is null okay so it means that whose return date is null that book is issued but not returned so it means that this data needs to be filled into uh, data grid view of issued book so here you can see this i hope you understand what i am trying to explain you if you don't understand then just comment in the comment section i will explain you or you can directly text us on instagram okay so you can see this after this what we have to do is we have to make sql data adapter da equals new sql data adapter after this we create an object of data set ds equals new data set and now we have to fill this data set da fill okay okay we missed something here you can see this i missed ds over here and now let me check that if it's working or not let's start this and click on this okay so invalid operation exception occurred in this system dot user the select command property has not been initialized before calling fill okay so let me check what actually I did a mistake so I haven't used command over here so you have to mention that CMD and now I'm going to start this once again and check that if data is filled in this issued book or not so just click on this okay so it's not filled because now we have the data into the data set but we haven't assigned that value to data grid view so I'm going to assign that so data grid view one so first data grid view name is nothing but let me just close these stuff 
and here you can see this is two to procuries and here you can see this data will be one and we have to set that data source equals ds dot tables in data set the data is in the form of table so i'm going to assign that table to data source data grid view okay so let me start this one again and here you can see this when i click on this now the data is filled inside this issued book okay so here you can see this and the book return date is empty so we are filtering the data of the issued book and return book so we have to do the same for this return book so i'm going to do that so what we have to do is our sql connection is already done over here so we have to repeat this line of code so i'm going to write that so cmd dot command text text equals select star from ir book where book underscore return underscore date is not null after this what we have to do is we have to create a sql data adapter object so we have we can't give them the same name so i'm going to write da1 equals new sql data adapter and in this we have to pass the command so cmd after this we have to make one data set object so data set and ds1 equals new data set after this we have to use da1 dot fill ds1 so don't make object mistake okay so make sure you are writing the correct stuff after this now we have the data into this data set one so we have to assign that into second data grid view so data grid view two dot data source okay so data source and here you have to write ds1 dot tables and just click like this okay so i'm going to start this here you can see this when i click on this here you can see this everything is now visible all the shoot book is currently present here and all the return book are here so that's it for the today's video guys i hope you like this video and please hit subscribe and hit the bell icon and hey in this video we have finally completed the project so thanks for watching and please subscribe